Hi, you are welcome to this episode of Laboratory Methods and Safety Tips. What if I ask you what is the most abundant waste on the surface of the earth? What will be your response? Plant biomass. Plant biomass, also known as lignocellulosic biomass, is the most abundant natural waste resources on the surface of the earth. Uh, an estimated 181.5 billion tons is generated per annum, out of which only 8.2 billion tons is utilized. Uh, plant biomass consists mainly of three biopolymers. Uh, they are mainly cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Uh, of these three uh, biopolymers, cellulose and hemicellulose found abundant usage, uh, but the one, the other uh, biopolymer, the third biopolymer, which is lignin, is the one that is uh, less used, uh, and has uh, mainly contributes to the waste uh, that is available. So uh, research has been on in this area, and research is quite hot in this area now, where usage is being found for lignin. And the uh, research is so far has shown that several kinds of aromatic uh, uh, chemicals, industrial chemicals can be produced from lignin in addition to using it as a source of oil. Uh, various applications have been proposed and research is on in this area. So uh, lignin, as you know, is one of the uh, waste products from the uh, pulp and paper industry. Because the pulp and paper industry uses wood, soft wood, as the feedstock. And so the paper producing process uses, utilizes the, cellul uh, the cellulose portion of it, and the hemicellulose and lignin are the main waste uh, materials that is generated from the pulp and paper industry. So there is abundance of lignin you know, available as waste. And this is what has prompted research in this area. Uh, today, I'm faced with the task of extracting uh, lignin from one of the plant biomasses. This is what is known as oil palm empty fruit bunch. Oil palm empty fruit bunch is the empty bunch that remains when the palm oil fruit is removed is harvested and the fruits are removed for palm oil production the bunch in which the fruits are attached is the is what is known as the empty fruit bunch and it looks like this after it is grinded you know so for this this is about uh, 420 micron uh, grinded into 420 micron seed size. So how do we carry out um, extraction of lignin from these biomass sources? Whether it is wood, whether it is a uh, oil palm empty fruit bunch, or any or grass or any other source of biomass. Uh, there are standard protocols. One uh, of them is from the Technical Association of Pulp and Paper Industry, what is known as TAPI. Uh, another one, another protocol is the ASTM, American Society for Testing and Materials. Uh, there is uh, the protocol that is known as ASTM 1106, which is a method of uh, uh, removal of uh, or extraction of lignin uh, from uh, wood or any other plant source. Uh, now, 
how is in this in this particular uh, uh, video we will be carrying out the PSTM one zero six method of labeling extraction. So in this method, the method consists of three main steps. The first step is to hydrolyze your oil palm empty fruit bunch or your plant biomass, as the case may be, by using 72% sulfuric acid uh, in the cold, you know, uh, around 20 degrees Celsius. You know, when you are using 72% sulfuric acid, heat is generated. So it is expected that uh, you will carry out the reaction in the cold as it is exothermic. So uh, the first step is to carry out hydrolysis in the cold and then for two hours. Then after, then after the two hours uh, reaction with 72% sulfuric acid, the mixture is diluted to 3% sulfuric acid and boiled for another four hours. So after the boiling, uh, it is expected that the remaining remnant that you have is the lignin because most of the cellulose and hemicellulose will have been degraded and have gone undergone reaction with the sulfuric acid. Um, the last stage is the drying, is the washing and drying of the lignin. Uh, in this episode, we are going to look at the first stage, first of all. Uh, we'll probably make videos for each of the stages. So in this episode, we are going to make a video for the first stage, which is hydrolysis with 72% sulfuric acid. In this method, as I've said, we need a bath. It's supposed to be a constant temperature water bath of 20 degrees Celsius. But in the absence of that, we can improvise. And one, the improvision we can make is to supply ice in a bath with water. You know, and then where you can have your, uh, you can have your uh, uh, plant biomass in the beaker. You know. So you have your seventy two percent sulfuric acid, and then. You can measure uh, the quantity of uh, biomass you want. In this case, 5 gram. The protocol requires that uh, every uh, 1 gram of uh, every gram of the plant biomass should be hydrolyzed with 15 ml of 72% uh, sulfuric acid. So for 5 ground, uh, we will need 75 ml of 72% so, uh, sulfuric acid for each of them. And we have about four replicates here. So in each of the beaker, we are going to measure 75 ml of 72% uh, sulfuric acid in each of the uh, beakers. So, uh, first of all, we put on our gloves because uh, we are dealing with uh, highly concentrated acids. So, we measure uh, 72 mil, 75 mil of. 72 percent of our acid. Vigorously, stir vigorously, 
at first until homogeneity is attained. And then we measure another 72, uh, 75 mil of 72% sulfuric acid into another big car, which, is, which consists of another replicate. sulfuric acid uh, solution which is a mixture of the now a mixture of the uh, biomass and 72% sulfuric acid will be diluted to 30% uh, by addition of water or deionized water so once you achieve the 30% then we we'll bring it to a boil on a heat, heating uh, plate uh, it is expected to boil for four hours. Uh, in our next video, we will uh, uh, look at how we dilute uh, this 72% to 30% uh, uh, sulfuric acid for the next stage of hydrolysis. So, uh, until another episode, uh, watch out for the episode. Until another episode, uh, I, I expect feedback from you, uh, subscribe to this channel and like this channel. Thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.